What's up guys, it's Jack from Diamond Wake, and today I'll be taking you through my process of learning to do a heel side, front side 360. For those who don't know what that is, that's one full spin with the handle initially going to the front side of your body as opposed to going towards your back. For a person riding left foot forward, this is spinning counterclockwise. A backside spin would be clockwise with the handle going towards my back to start the spin. I decided to try this trick after learning the tantrum, the heel side and toe side back roll, and some 180s. It seemed like a good first spin to do after all those inverts. Three years ago, I actually tried to make the 360 my first intermediate trick, but I gave up because it was too hard at the time. But after I'd landed a couple different inverts, it was time for me to give the 3 another try. I started out by doing some one wake 360s that I decided to turn into wake to wake attempts after I realized how much pop I was getting. So here's a couple of those attempts. want to see a video of me going in depth and breaking down every part of my attempts, you can click in the top right to watch that. But the simplified version is that I wasn't getting close. I bent over at my hips on every attempt which ruined my balance and made it harder for me to get the handle. It's easier to reach behind your back standing up as opposed to bending over and that's why I wasn't always getting the handle and I never landed on my board. Also, we had the ballast full in all of those attempts and I was popping way higher than I needed to when I didn't know how to do the trick and that extra pop could have been attributing to my awful attempts. So going into the next day, we emptied the ballast so I could get the spin down before I went full send, and I was really focusing on my body position in the air. I did a lot of threes on the trampoline, thinking about keeping my head level and standing tall while I was spinning to make the handle pass easier and to keep my balance so I could actually land the trick. While thinking about all of this, I took my first one-wake attempt of the day, and this is how it went. That looked a lot better than every attempt I took the day before. I stood tall in the air, got the handle very easily behind my back, and I was able to ride it out for the first time. Getting it first try gave me a lot of confidence for my next couple attempts, and here's how those went. After getting it one wake a couple times, I figured it was time to try wake to wake, so here's my first full send wake to wake. The front edge definitely hurt, but it didn't take it out of me. I was still willing to give it a try and land my first wake to wake 3, so I got right back up and went for it again, and this is how it went. I was stoked to land it so easily after all the pain that trick had put me through years before. I struggled for a whole summer trying to land it and I just did it in two days. I was so pumped, but I didn't stop there. I went for a couple more after that and here's how those looked. was able to land every single one after that, and that gave me so much confidence. I feel very comfortable doing this trick, and I've even tried my hand at a 540 off a kicker. I definitely think this is a great first spin to learn, and encourage anyone who wants to start spinning to start with this one. It's fairly straightforward and pretty fun once you've got it down. From here, I think I'm going to try some toe side and backside spins, as well as working on my blind riding so I can do any spin I want to. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.